Hello YouTube, welcome to my very first Sims build. Um, so if you see me mess up a lot, you'll know why. Uh, but I want to do kind of like a, a just a regular home, a small home. Um, I saw a couple things on YouTube that I really enjoyed when I was watching some builds. I'm trying to get back into it. I started over and this bought a couple expansions recently and just decided to completely start over and got rid of everything and starting from scratch. So uh, this is the first house I'm building for my neighborhood. And I, I noticed I, ha I have a trend here using a lot of brown. So bear with it if you think there's better options. I'd be more than willing to take some um, take some help. But in the meantime, this is what I believe is a nice home that I am excited to uh, build my first character for. So with this room here, um, I always liked corner t TVs and I don't like that you can't really do that very well with Sims. So I just place them in there and what I like to do is just kind of push that up against the uh, wall so it looks like a corner desk as well. Uh, and then just, you know, plant some trees around it to hide all that mess. Usually works. Put a couple more rocks. Just wanted to, you know, look kind of nice. That's the hardest part, isn't it? With just the plants kind of cutting through everything. Oh, by the way, I'm using um, bb.move objects on, in case you were wondering why I'm able to put everything the way I am. Um, so yeah, this is probably gonna be the room everyone hangs out in. I'm thinking people are gonna come over and watch some movies later. So I have a lot of nice lights. The problem is they hang so low and I tried, I thought maybe if I raised the roof, the lights <laughs> would look better, it didn't. So they still are set to a specific height. I'm kind of ashamed because those lights are really nice. Got them from Dine Out. So we'll just stick to one of these um, nice lamps. I like this lamp too, kind of go with it a lot pretty often and we'll get a get a rug in here and finding the right colors is kind of the hardest thing I need to go back to some sims resource or something and just really go in and uh, download as much like collective items that I can find versus you know one-offs so I like to use since I went down with the the ground I was able to do stairs I like using that as kind of like a a bench almost where I can place things on so you can see I'm using it for like plants and later I'm gonna put um some books on there I like big mirrors very modern looking I'm still trying to get into the Scandinavian look I have no idea how to do it yet so I'm always going for like the black and brown modern look but maybe my next build I'll work on a Scandinavian um, Scandinavian look I have no idea how to do it I'm probably got to watch some videos I just downloaded Go to Work and City Living. So I got a, a console that I just put there. I've never seen the console before, so I think it's from one of those sets. But they, they can play games now. You know, puts their, their fun up and all that. I also am a big fan of big pictures. All right, so here's, this is where I kind of didn't really know what to do. I'm not a patio kind of person, but the idea is there and also as well you can see I can't really find a way to change the stairs to uh, brick so I just later on I kind of fix that but um, let me get through some of this window issues I'm having I decided I will deal with the windows later because I can't figure out how to make it look nice and don't worry you didn't miss much just about a couple of minutes of me playing around with a bunch of mirrors or windows that just didn't work well but it's okay. I figured what I'm gonna do is kind of get some plants out here and have them start growing a little bit, some herbs or something. All right, another issue I have is, again, all the outside work I'm not very good at. I don't know how to paint homes, what to use, bricks and all that. So I stick to these dark colors that I'm comfortable with. Now this I saw in a video once and I really enjoyed how it looked. So I've been doing it ever since. I think the like traditional roof with like triangle roof I just don't like how that looks so I kind of go with this one side slanted look I enjoy it now here I'm just kind of playing around looking for some colors and trying to 
that I can't get that white part down there to turn black. I think that'd look really nice, but maybe not. But it's okay. I figure out how to make the roof look a little nice. I think it's pretty modern. I enjoy it. Maybe you could put a couple windows here. Right. And I guess we'll go back to the windows. I, I mean, really, I do not know how to do windows. Once I put those windows down, I realized, okay, this is going to be my, my bedroom. That is a beautiful... Look how nice those lights look. All right. So, all right off the bat, I think I, I right off the bat, I know the uh, the bedroom is going to be my favorite thing to build. So I think I go right up in on that, and the bathroom, eh, <laughs> not the best choice, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and finish coloring all this up, and we'll head into the bedroom. Yeah, restrooms, um, I've bought a couple cool things, a lot of like accessories that I like to set my restrooms up with. So I'll put a bunch of towels and, you know, a couple things that just look nice. I love that we can raise and lower the objects. That is one of my favorite things I found out through a bunch of friends who play this. But yeah, I think the accessories really make the restroom. I could gather more. I need to get a couple more. I'll probably head over to the Sims resource after this, but I don't think I did a bad job. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, the color scheme's there. It's all nice and it's not, I wouldn't say it's modern, but I'm happy with it. That shower I just got today. It looks super neat. All right, anyways, let's move on to my favorite part of the house. I have a lot of accessories for bedrooms, so I tend to spend a lot of time doing this. Now, biggest issue, like just like in the uh, living room, I can't find the correct colors to match. Like I love that dresser, and I couldn't find anything to match with that dresser, so I just gave up on that. Um, now I was looking for a white bed, I do some offset colors, but I couldn't find anything that made a good accent color over the room. So, lo and behold, I stick to brown. That painting doesn't do a bad job. You know, once I put the painting up and I f and I put the thing on the bed like that, I was like, "This is by far my favorite room. I'm ready to just spend all my mornings and nights in this room, and only leaving to eat or use the restroom." I got a nice little cozy room, which is I enjoy. I don't know how to build big homes yet. I've always enjoyed just sticking a bunch of things into a really small space. And then the shelves, of course, you know. Accessories really make the rooms in Sims, I feel like. My room in real life is extremely empty, but for some reason in The Sims, I enjoy having a lot of clutter, I guess. I wouldn't call it clutter. Maybe it's clutter. Let's give up on smelling good. I don't need to smell good. That was that was cologne. Found that, and I was like, oh, that'd be fun to place in here. So I have some good taste, but it was didn't fit too well. Uh, kitchens, um, not the. You know what? I think I'm okay at kitchens. I tend to make the same thing, but how it looks when I make it, I think it looks good. Therefore, and then I realized, wow, that is a huge kitchen for a small house. <laughs> so I get rid of a couple things. I think it looks a lot better. But what do they say? Don't fix it if it's not broke. This specific setup I used for all of my homes, I really need to branch out and find better ways to do it. But like I said, I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks pretty nice. And I found, you know, I found some cabinets that actually look good with the with the um, cabinets below. And I was like, all right, we can do that with the chairs. But nope, I didn't like that either. I think it's the angle of the um. The curve is too, too inward. I actually do something different with that. I'm kind of happy with, so I'm glad it didn't work. Notice how I couldn't get this to work with the pots and pans. So I settled for. Um, I found some really nice like 
spatulas. I think I'm looking for those right now. There he is. I really enjoy those. If I could find links to where I got all these things, I'll probably post them. Um, the paper towels didn't work, but I found later that I actually have better paper towels to use. There he is. It worked a lot. But no, I don't think I use those either. <laughs> they don't have to wipe their hands. I like that table. That's literally the table I have in my home right now. It was just kind of cool to see it in Sims. And those were ridiculously large. Can't figure out what to use those for yet. And I struggle here a little bit trying to figure out how to put it there and then I noticed those are called large so they had smaller ones that I can place. Now here too I was kind of configuring how to make this look the best it could be in an asymmetrical way. Uh, struggled a lot here. I couldn't find if I wanted to put plants or anything, so we'll skip around here really quick. Yeah, so I tried thinking maybe I'll put like a statue here, and I started really working things out in my head. I was like, okay, well, I don't like that it clips to the table, so I need things that clip to the floor instead. I'm like, cool, let's try this out. And you can see I'm just using random plants, and I was like, mm, nah, that's not gonna work. So I was like, well, if things don't clip to the table, if they're forced to work on the ground, I'll just play with ground units. And that's when I found this um, potted plant. This is probably not my best work, but I love the accent of those cherry blossoms and the way that it works with this awesome photo of Aladdin's shoe. <laughs> and I think it ended up okay. Maybe I'll go back and change that up in a little bit, but I see that lamp I put there. So this is the home. This is it. Thoroughly enjoy the bedroom. All right. This is the home. This is how it ended up. Love the bedroom. Enjoy the kitchen. Bathroom's not bad. I love the living room. That painting in the living room is great. I love how I set the TV up with the corner. I think I'm gonna start doing that more often. You know, you can hide the plants, or hide anything that sticks out with plants. It's like my go-to right here is just rocks and plants. Um, and it looks great too for, you know, as, as far as outside work goes, that's probably my favorite thing to do, is just placing plants in the corners and hiding all the ridiculous angles that stick out of houses. <laughs> so we got that here. We got two nice plants out there. Looks good. Here it is almost finished product it's finished for now but you know as I go through the game I'll figure out little things here and there to place into the house well I hope you enjoyed everything and enjoyed watching me build on my first house to this new oh yeah here I am here I am trying to fix those stairs and this is the solution so first first build in this brand new game of sims deleted everything and just starting over and this is house one I hope you enjoyed everything. Thank you for watching.